and all of a sudden you're 100 million percent overwhelmed. So my goal always with new agents is to be empathetic towards their, their position that they are overwhelmed, that they are overwhelmed, and my job is to take that pressure off. So welcome guys to today's training. I wanna go through my new agent process with you as people continue to, to join the room here. Thank you guys so much for being here um, on this Discord server. This is the Zero to Diamond Discord server. This is a, a new thing I started just last week. We're already over a thousand agents here and I wanna continue growing this. I wanna to try to make this one of the largest real estate uh, agent communities out there. I feel like this platform is all the social media is wrapped into one. This right here, what we're doing currently is is exactly like a clubhouse you know a lot of the other features are some of the other um, social medias combined it's actually I really like this a lot better than let's say the zero to diamond Facebook group um, because the fact that you can see every single thing you can scroll up and see everything whereas if you go to the zero to diamond Facebook group and scroll down you're only gonna see basically what Facebook wants you to see. I mean, you know, I, I will post there myself and then I'll scroll through the group looking for my post and I can even find my own post, or, you know, organically. Sure, I can search for it. To find it organically is another story. So that's one reason I love this platform because I think there's total transparency. Um, every single comment, every single message, you see everything in real time um, as they happen in chronological order. There's no algorithm throwing things to the top, to the bottom, so on and so forth. And also you guys can see me answer questions and see how I answer questions. I think that's really big. Do you know how much I made my first year? You know, I made $20,000. You literally almost doubled my first year earnings um, as a new agent. I said, if you continue that path of, of being, you know, almost doubling my income every year, you know, you're gonna be making two million a year. You know, I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking, how far ahead is he from where I was when I was a new agent, right? It's just, you guys, I want you to, number one, before we even get started here, understand that your first year as an agent is not about, not all about how much money you made, how many closings you had. That is a small part of the puzzle. You take your first year to learn how to do all these things on a very basic level, and then that sets the foundation for you to have a hundred and fifty thousand dollars second year. This guy from going to a hundred to thirty-five thousand his first year to doing a hundred and fifty thousand a second year based on the foundation he put in place is completely realistic. But for him to come out the shoot, say I'm gonna make 150 my first year, I only make 35 and be deeply depressed about it, hurts my feelings. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. Um, I want you guys to really really start to understand right this year is important but let's not 100% let's let's focus on both we're developing skills for the future and we're trying to close some deals now and pay our bills i get it um, it, it comes down to, for me, one word, hacking, hacking the system. That's what I've done with my business. That's what I've done with social media. That's what I've done with other businesses is I'm trying to get in and figure out how to hack the system to get to the most people to build my brand so that I can have a very nice business where what? I don't have to worry about where my next deal is coming from. That's why I'm able to teach classes like this. Meanwhile, closing $3 million this week. I'm closing out $3 million worth of real estate this week as a single agent while coaching the industry. How am I doing that? Because I spent 15 years building my local brand to the point where I don't have to worry about where people are coming from to do business with me, if people are gonna come to me to do business with me. I know for a fact that my database is, is such a high level and I've built such a great reputation and personal brand that there's no question about if I'm gonna have business. I'm going to have business and it's just a matter of me helping those people do what they want to do. Which brings me to another great point I wanna talk about before I talk about day one in the business and that is letting people do what they want to do. The reason why I have sold so much real estate and have become so successful right, is because of this single fact right here. I don't try to get anyone to buy or sell. It's never going to go away. Hey, slow down a bit, it'll speed up, it'll do, it'll go up and down, sure. But even at the lowest points, there's still truck loads of closings happening every day. 
no matter what the market does, even at the lowest points. There's an unlimited amount of business for each and every one of you. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients that will only do business with you for the rest of your life. You know, that you made it that far and that if you keep going, you can accomplish all of your dreams will come true. If I can do it, guys, I promise you on everything that you can do it. I promise you that if I, I have done nothing special, all I am is a hard worker that cares about people. That's it. If you're a hard worker that cares about people and you don't quit, then everything's going to work out for you in the end. It took me, think about 15 years it took me to get where I wanted to go. Guys, a lot of you, you know, will be in the business for five or six years and, you know, you're not quite getting where you want to go. Welcome to the club, guys. <laughs> this is not easy stuff. Day one, listen to me, is a very overwhelming position to be in because now you have, a lot of states have their post license class you have to do. You have to find a broker. You have to submit applications. Um, you have to go through, um, you know, contract trainings. You have to get MLS set up, pay those fees, learn MLS, go to those trainings. Okay, you've got your website. You've got how to get leads. You've got which way to go. You've got social media. You've got business cards. You've got all this stuff. You got all this crazy amount of stuff hitting you all at once, and all of a sudden you're 100 million percent overwhelmed. So my goal always with new agents is to be empathetic towards their, their position that they are overwhelmed, and that they are overwhelmed, and my job is to take that pressure off. My job is to take the pressure off of, of new agents and try to help them uh, not be overwhelmed. I want them to feel comfortable. I don't want them to feel anxious. I don't want them to feel um, any kind of anxiety uh, about the business. We need to start this out on the right foot. I like to take baby steps with my new agents. Okay, out of these 15 things you have going on here, staring you in the face, you know, only three of them are, are what we need to focus on right now for the next couple weeks. We can let the other 12 things sit there for a second, come back to them later. And what does that do? That takes the pressure off of you. You know, we narrow down those top three things, and then I want to focus on those things without worrying about the other stuff right now. Baby steps, guys. You, you have to baby step your, your new agents into the business. You can't just do the drink out of the fire hose scenario. That is a recipe for disaster. We need to take it one step at a time and really build the foundation right the first time. There's two things, right, with the new agent. I, I want the new agent to understand my philosophies about the market and about building your business short and long term. Okay, I want them to really understand those philosophies, which I'll just briefly touch on. The other part is, okay, out of the time we're allocating to real estate every week, what are we going to do during those hours to make the best of that time? Okay, so those are the two things that I want from a new agent immediately. Okay, what's your schedule? Okay, let's carve out these times per week to allocate to real estate. Here's what we need to be doing during those times. And all the meanwhile, understand my philosophies, please, new agent. Understand that business is unlimited forever, okay? Competition doesn't exist. It only exists within yourself to be the best you you can be. You gotta be confident in the market, in yourself, in your abilities, in your intentions. You know, closings happen every day forever. Market crashes do not, <laughs> I mean, market crashes just don't, they, they, they aren't a part of, they should not be figured into, I guess, your, your success as an agent or, you know, that if a market crash happens, then we're doomed kind of deal. I have to get that out of you guys' heads. The mar a market crash has absolutely zero to do with you succeeding as an agent. And this is part of my strategy behind reducing the failure rate in the real estate industry. I want to prepare you guys for when the crash happens. There's gonna be a crash at some point. Who knows when? Who knows how hard? Who knows what? Who knows why? Nobody, nobody. But the fact is, is that if I can help you get your mind right and change your perspective on this one issue and the market crash happens and you just keep trucking just like I'm teaching you to do, then that then that's what's going to make that's what's going to elevate my happiness that I'm accomplishing my goal to reduce the failure rate because you didn't have to quit the business when the market crashed. Okay, just for an example, and you work Monday through Friday 7 to 1, let's say, whatever that whatever kind of job that might be. Okay, so you have from 1 on during the week, right? And then you have the weekends. Okay? So 
our allocation of time there is going to be okay you get off at one you drive home and everything maybe you take a shower or something i don't know you eat lunch i don't know two o'clock we're, we're working on real estate so let's just say for example we allocate from two to, to five right so that's three hours there um maybe even two to six right so it's all it's all going to depend on that specific agent but but what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to figure out what we can commit to right what what how much time can we carve out and allocate to our real estate business every week on a weekly routine you know and what i want to do is i want to create something that is 100 percent doable i want to i want to go below our means on a lot of this stuff because a lot of new agents come in and they set a goal to make calls every day. They have an eight to five job, and they, they set a goal to make their calls every day. They wanna make some at lunch, make some after work. And for me, that's not doable, because if you're gonna do that every single day, you're gonna end up missing a day here or there, and then you're gonna feel like a failure that um, I don't really do as an experienced agent. For sale by owners, something I don't really do, never really did as an experienced agent, but I toyed around with it a lot when I was a new agent. And I got so much experience because I'm talking to a real life prospect who wants to sell their house that does not have an agent. I go meet with them and see them face to face and look at their property, learn why they wanna sell, learn where they're moving to, learn all about their family and their history and everything else. It's so educational. I get so much experience. The more experience you can get the quickest, you need to go for it, okay? So the 50% of our time spent building our business versus the 50% of our time training. The building our business part needs to be talking to people. I don't wanna see you spend, okay, three hours allocated to real estate per day, half of it's training, the other half is posting on social media. Or the other, you know, you think that, you know, um, working on our website or, um, maybe you do training. A lot of people do the training 100% of the time. They're not even doing anything to build their business. They'll post on social media and then they'll just do training the rest of the day and they're like, I'm building my business. No, you're not. You're not talking to anyone. Everybody's journey is different. I've got new agents that came in, they didn't sell anything for six months and then their second six months they closed 20 deals. So many agents with that story. I could tell you several agents with that story. I've got into come in and they sell 20 properties in the first six months. Everybody has a different layout of, of their journey and how everything comes together um, just based on you know confidence and uh, you know adaptability, um, so on and so forth. But I'll tell you this, I'll leave you with this and answer some questions. I'm gonna go back to, you guys got in this business as a career for a 20 or 30 year period of time. Do not, please look at everything on more of a, a long-term uh, result. You know, spend 50% of your worry on how many deals we're gonna close this year, the other 50 on putting together a business that's gonna be sustainable through any kind of market next year, the year after, the year after, and really put it, put some, I want you guys to put something in place that turns into a snowball, right? Because my business is a snowball. It's a snowball that continues to, to get larger and larger and larger, even though I've stepped away from prospecting. It's continuing um, to grow till you get too busy to make two calls a year and then scale it back to one call a year until you're too busy to make even the one call a year, right? Correct, yeah. And same thing with the handwritten letters, you know, like do it until you can't do it anymore is what my advice is. Okay, so you look at the time that you're allocating towards real estate, right, per week, and you take half that time to build your business, okay? So like, let's say you're full time, you're spending, you know, from eight to five every day, you know, you're spending eight hours a day. That means we wanna spend three to four hours building our business. What does that mean? It means talking to people back to back to back to back to back all day long in our market, letting them know who we are, what we do, and we're here to help. And we're gonna spend the other half of the time uh, marketing. Right, building our weekly email, doing working on our website, you know, writing blogs, doing open houses, writing, you know, handwritten letters, doing social media, you know, creating content, making videos, whatever. Right. So, so for a full-time agent, literally, you should be, you know, in the office eight o'clock, meditate about your business, schedule your day. Nine o'clock, we're on the phone. Nine to twelve, back to back to back, no, no distractions. Eat lunch at 12 to one. From one on is all marketing. 
right? Unless you have appointments. If you have appointments, that's number one. You know, listing appointment, buyer showings, negotiating deals, or writing a contract. Those four things are the most important of over any. That will. Those four things are more important than anything else. Don't don't worry so much about that, man. Let it happen organically. Say it takes you. Like you'll see, like after the first year, you'll start to see some of those people from last year you call coming to you and doing deals and giving you referrals. And then the next year it's a little more, you know, and it's a snowball that just builds and builds and builds. So when I got to like, it was, it was like 5,000, I want to say. When I got to like between five and 10,000, I was done. I was selling 100 properties a year at that point, and um, it was all coming from past clients, referrals and referrals of referrals. So you know, have that number in your mind, 5,000, but the, but the ripple effects of it will start to happen pretty immediately. Like I have a lot of agents who, you know, like for example, I've got the I've got a guy in North Carolina, he made 14,000 calls, which that resulted in 300 emails. And uh, he didn't sell anything for six months. He got his first listing and then boom, everything started hitting and he sold 20 properties in his second six months. Um, and, and, and a lot of that came from the 300 people that he connected with in the first six months, right? So, um, you know, you will start to see those, that repercussion effect and the, that ripple effect of um, that boomerang of, of people you talk to coming back to you, you know, pretty quickly, you know, within the first year, for sure, within the first six months, for sure. But you got to keep pushing and keep growing it to the point where it's so massive. There's just like, it's just like this huge boulder, you know, rolling down the hill. You can't stop, you know.